I'd like to welcome to the Harmony Festival for a second time and to Sonoma County, the home of Dennis Day Kucinich for President 2008. Dennis Kucinich! Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Harmony! When we gather together this afternoon, with the understanding of the power of harmony. We know that it's about harmony with each other as people. We also understand that the world is interconnected. The world is interdependent. We come here with an understanding of the world as one. And that is so powerful because it is that understanding which gives us the hope that we can create peace. It is that understanding of harmony, the principle of harmony, which connects us not only to each other, but which enables us to achieve harmony with nature. Global warring and global warming both represent a disconnection from each other as people and from ourselves, from nature. When we know that we're truly one, that we're one with each other, and that we're one with the earth. We understand the deeper wisdom of Chief Seattle when he said, the earth does not belong to us, we belong to the earth. That we are an expression of a higher awareness and of a capacity for healing the planet and for healing the challenges of war which confront this country and the world right now. Harmony and peace is inevitable if we have the courage to believe that we can create such a world and be ready to act on that courage. Yeah. 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 There are those who tell us that war is inevitable. That is the big lie. There are those who tell us that we are simply a violent species, that human nature is simply violent. But we know that's not true. We know from the studies of Margaret Mead that she was able to determine that islanders who were not connected to the so-called mainstream culture had a creative approach towards living which was very peaceful. We understand that in our own hearts what brings us joy is a sense of peace. The harmony that defines this great gathering is something we not only hope to possess but we know the imperative of living. And so we ask the question, how can we achieve peace? How can we be secure? All across this country, the great questions of our time relate to whether people feel secure and what people will do in order to feel secure. We have been led into a land of false promises, a land which told us we would be secure if we attacked a nation that did not attack us. Are we more secure today than we were when we launched, the country launched the war? We understand that one does not achieve security through the indiscriminate use of force. We understand that one does not achieve security through policies of preemption, unilateralism, and first strike. We understand that one does not achieve security through an approach which goes it alone and reflects separation, reflects fragmentation, reflects alienation. We achieve security 
through international cooperation. We achieve security through diplomacy. We achieve security when we move to abolish nuclear weapons. We achieve security when we move to abolish chemical weapons. Yes. We achieve security when we move to abolish yeah. biological weapons. We yeah. achieve security when we move to abolish small arms which are inundating communities with violence. We achieve security when we move to eliminate landmines. We achieve security when we join the International Criminal Court. We achieve security when we reach out and extend our arms to our brothers and sisters around the world in an expression of human unity and love. We achieve security when we have the courage of our hearts to embrace those who look foreign but recognizing their reflection of our deeper selves. We achieve security when we have the courage to believe in our own ability to create peace and when we reject the type of thinking which creates war. Can we achieve security? Yeah. Yeah. We're at a moment in human history where alienation has caused us to be separate from those we love, from people in other countries, from people of other religions. This then is a moment for us to take that deeper journey to find out what is it that connects us. And I tell you that what connects us is the human heart. That the human heart has such great power. That the heart has an intelligence. All of us understand that. The heart knows all. It sees all. It hears all. The heart is multi-sensate. The heart suffers when it understands death, depression, despair. The heart knows that. People talk about being heart sick, that's what it means. The heart also knows when it is being inspired. The heart knows when the future is calling it to a place of joy. The heart knows when the future is calling it to love. We are at the threshold of a whole new world of possibilities yeah. where we will take the creative power of our hearts and extend it to the world and extend it to our brothers and sisters everywhere and we will create a practical structure for peace which will make the power of the heart a place that will emanate to all areas of our families, our community, our nation. The Department of Peace and Nonviolence is the place where the heart begins dealing with domestic violence, spousal abuse, child abuse, all of those things which crush the joy in our homes. We can, through creative approaches, through education and working with community groups, find a path out of that darkness. Yeah. Emerson once wrote that every jet of chaos which threatens to exterminate us is convertible by intellect to wholesome force. The wondrous truth is that we have the ability to recreate our world every day. Yeah. That through teaching our children mutuality through showing our children that the other person is an aspect of oneself to knowing truly the deeper meaning of the golden rule that you do unto others as you would do unto yourself but as you do unto others so you do unto yourself we come to an understanding of our power to change things I tell you not only that war is not inevitable but that peace is inevitable security is inevitable we are at the threshold of this new world listen to the poet who said come my friends tis not too late to seek a newer world come my friends tis not too late to seek a newer world come my friends it's not too late to seek a newer world thank you very much So it's our next president. You can make it happen. Kucinich.us. All the issues and everything is there. Dennis Kucinich, one more time. Thanks for coming out, Dennis. DJK in the house. DJK.